Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick update video on the Renegade. We got a big ride tomorrow and she wasn't quite ready, but <laughs> good thing the XMR is such a beast of a bike, bone stock. We got the tires on. We got the 3P prepped STM primary and STM secondary on, so that's gonna make a huge difference. And we got these new Silverback MT2s. I'll put a comparison picture uh, and comparison weight as soon as I get home, but they're a good inch or inch and a half, or even almost two inches taller than the 30 inch Silverback. So they look gnarly with that sidewall tread. We're gonna see how they do tomorrow. Anyways, we had to stop in, we had to pick her up. We're still waiting for the exhaust. We're still waiting for the cams to go in, the lift to go on. We still got a lot of stuff to do to it, but <laughs> I'll show you in a sec why we gotta take the Renegade. We had a little trouble last weekend. The six by six. We took out the center diff in the six by six. Gall dang it. So we're waiting for a new one to come in. Look at all that juicy skeg in there. <laughs> we had a good ride, but man, she just that center diff just did not hold out to these 30 inch silverbacks, turning six of them, turning four of them for the back. And she, I don't know, shredded the ring gear or the pinion gear, one of them, making all sorts of bad noises. So we're waiting for a diff for that. So I really had nothing to ride for Pelican. It's not really a Maverick friendly ride, a side-by-side -side friendly ride. So we had to come in and pick up the Renegade. So as soon as we get home, we'll do a little bit more on the video. Talk to you guys soon. And holy smokes, the only way to get that center diff out was breaking her in half. There's where the center diff used to be. Nice musk egg all. At least it's easy to get that stuff cleaned out. So yeah, basically there's the front half. Here's a lot of the parts. Skid plate, tiger tail, seat, and here's the rear half. That's what they had to do to get that center diff out. Basically split it right in half. Pretty crazy. But the new diff should be here tomorrow and hopefully they can get her put back and hopefully we'll have her back up running again by the weekend. Okay hey guys, uh, we got a luggage scale here. It's good to 100 pounds, so I figured that'd be the best way to try to weigh these tires. We had a chance to try them out, a uh, true 30 inch tire, these new MT2s and I really liked them and I just thought it'd be a, a great uh, comparison to do a weight comparison between a 30 inch original Silverback, both skinnies. As far as rims, I don't know, Can-Am beadlocks, they're super light so I'm not sure if that'll make much of a difference but we'll try to hold this baby up at zeroed out right now. Try to hold her up till it beeps. So right around 63, 62.9, 63.1. We'll weigh the original one and see what we come up with. Our super scientific way here. Gives you an idea anyways. I think they're a lot closer in weight, a lot closer in weight than what I thought. You see the huge side lug on those and and I thought they were going to weigh quite a bit more than the original, but okay, so we'll reset it again here. If it'll reset, I don't know, 0.2. Okay, there we go, reset. Right about 56. So yeah, right about, same thing, we, we tried with the bathroom scale and it was almost exactly the same. Right around six or seven pounds difference. So for a whole inch taller of a tire and a, and a lot more uh, sidewall lug, I think six or seven pounds is acceptable for sure. So anyways, I just want to get that on video and and uh, and just show you guys weight comparison. We'll have a little bit of video of them in action soon. Thanks a lot.